All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Johnny's Corazon. As you know, I'm Johnny. We're back here in the heart of my home, the Corazon, my kitchen. So, hey, what's cooking, good looking? You know who I'm talking to. Anyway, it's that time of year. We've got a lot of football going on. Saturdays, you got college ball going on. Sundays, professional ball. Thursdays, you got both. So when I'm thinking football and whatnot, I'm thinking tailgating, which makes me think about cooking meat over fire, which makes me think of my grill, which makes me think of fajitas. Is that what you were thinking too? All right, so let's talk about some fajitas. Okay, let's head on out to the grill. Well, I guess that's not going to work out. You know, uh, with the wind, it's, it's been kicking up a lot today. I'm not going to be able to maintain a good hot temperature on that grill. One of these days, I'm going to get out there. We're going to cook something up there. So normally, I would use this to make my fajitas. Just a uh, walk from my grill so the, the heat can get up in through there and you can get all that good smoky goodness. I like to you know, have a lot of smoky goodness when I'm cooking my meat over a fire like that. Well, this isn't going to work today, so plan B. Use my wok. Now I'm not going to get that same kind of charred outside goodness that we get off the grill, but we're still going to get some good flavor. Now how am I going to get that smoky taste in there? Check it out. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid smoke, okay? That's going to get some of that good grill kind of smoky flavor that I personally like a lot when I'm making fajitas for most meats. So, all right, let's get to the marinade. All right, so what we're going to be starting off with here, our first ingredient we're going to have is the, our extra light uh, olive oil. We're going to be using the juice from about half a lime. Here's some liquid smoke, some smoked paprika, uh, some regular sweet paprika, some uh, cumin or comino, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and this right here is some of my uh, New Mexico uh, powdered red chili. So, all right, now let's get to mixing these okay, up. Okay, check right? this out. Here we go. Uh, this is what I'm going to use as my measuring spoon. As you can tell, I just kind of kind of... Get some general proportions going here. So we're going to start off with first is we're going to start off with that uh, olive oil. Get some of that in there. There we go. Here's some of this liquid smoke. Uh, I guess that's going to be. Add some of that in there. I don't know. Maybe a teaspoon or so. <laughs> Next up, we're going to go ahead and uh, add in our lime. Get that, all that in there. What happens is that acid from the lime, that's going to help break down the cells in the chicken. So it'll, it makes uh, the meat more tender. And it's going to help uh, to absorb all these other flavors that we're going to be infusing in that chicken through this marinade. All right. Okay. Get all that in there. Looking good. Okay. Next up, we'll be going with our smoked paprika here. Uh, I'll do about... Más o menos, more or less, eh, about a spoonful, I guess. There we go. Okay, some of our uh, just regular paprika. I'm going to use a little less. I'll use this side here. Use a little less there. I already have some of the paprika, that smoke flavor. A little bit of that sweet there. Then, next up is the uh, comino, the cumin. Add in, I don't know, maybe about a, I guess that's about a half teaspoon or so. <laughs> Throw that in there. Ah, garlic. So important. Garlic. Yes, it is. So, here we go. Putting the garlic in there. And I'm going to do about a full spoonful here. What I'm looking at more is uh, proportions. Not exact amounts, but proportions as well. Okay. So, here we go. Add in some uh, onion powder. A little less than the garlic. Ah, here we go. Some of this great New Mexico chile. I'm not going for too spicy today, so uh, I guess about a half teaspoon or so. I don't know, right in there. Okay, one thing that I didn't mention earlier, of course, is we're going to have to add salt and pepper to taste, okay? So, let's go there, adding in that freshly ground pepper. How's that looking? Is that going to work? I think it just might. Okay. okay we're also going to add in some of this uh, kosher salt. I guess... Eh, a little less than we added with the, the garlic and with the uh, smoked paprika. So, let's get this all mixed up in here. Now take a look at it. See what kind of consistency it's looking like. You know, that's looking pretty, uh, that's looking pretty good there. Let's 
It's going to stick to that meat real nice. All right. Add a little bit more of the uh, olive oil. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this chicken to it, okay? Okay, so it's time to go ahead and uh, add this chicken in there. What I have here is I just went and sliced up a uh, just a couple chicken breasts. You know, use whatever part of the chicken you prefer. I know some people would rather use the uh, thighs because they like the darker meat. Me, I tend to buy a lot of chicken breasts, you know, going to, hitting up Costco and whatnot. And so I'm going to go ahead and drop those in there. There we go. So I'm going to put the lid on here, my little uh, container. And then I'm going to swirl it all around. Check it up, check it up. Check it up, baby. Now, anyway, okay, so it's all in there. We're gonna go ahead and refrigerate this for a few hours, and then we'll be uh, it'll be time to get these uh, bad boys cooking up. All right, all right. Oh yeah, that meat's been marinating, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in first. When I add in the meat, this chicken, I'm also gonna add in the uh, onion, as well as the uh, one stalk of celery. One thing that I really like is I like how celery. It adds a lot of flavor to meals. It's not gonna be real predominant, but it's gonna give that chicken just a little more of a rich flavor. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna add in the uh, chicken. We're gonna add in some of the uh, onions, then a little bit of celery in there, okay? All right, let's get this going. Mm. Oh yeah. Get that cooking up there. Smelling good already. Gonna go ahead and add in our uh, onion there. And stir it in, stir it in. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah. Now, here comes that uh, celery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for a. Uh, Gosh, just a minute or two, let things cook up there, get this meat get cooked through, and then that's when we're going to add in that bell pepper. What I have here is I have some orange and red bell pepper. Whichever kind you want to add in there is fine. I prefer these ones as opposed to the uh, green ones. I think they have more of a sweet flavor to them. That's why I prefer these ones. But hey, use what you got. If you got green bell pepper in the fridge there, use it up. All right, the chicken is looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and add in the, uh, the bell pepper there. Stir this up. All right, now with the bell pepper too, I want you to think about how, what, what tenderness do you like it? I like to have mine have a little bit of crunch when I eat them in those fajitas. Some people like theirs a little softer. So think about that. You're gonna judge it on what you like. Remember, this is your world. So go ahead and uh, get that going. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep stirring this for just a, another uh, minute or two. And get these uh, bell peppers to the right consistency. No, not yet. I'll give it a little bit more time. Keep stirring it up and I guess it's going to be time to get down with you. Oh man, I am so hungry right now. Ooh, check it out. Looking done to me. Let's see. Ooh, kind of hot. That's how I like mine right there. A little bendy. And wow, I think we are done. So that was plan B. You know, we couldn't really cook outside today, so we had to make do and, uh, well, use the wok. So, instead of using the wood chips that I would normally use to get some, get that smoky flavor in there, instead I use a little liquid smoke. I should be a spokesmodel, huh? huh? Anyway, so, we use the wok. Now, maybe you don't have a wok. Get a nice heavy pan, get that all heated up there, get a little bit of oil on there so that meat and the veggies don't stick, and tss, dump that in there. All right. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, until next time.